एवरी वन वेलकम टू मई यूट्यूब चानल इन दिस वीडियो ई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू दि एक्सपेरीमेंट आन थर्मिस्टर सो दिस इज दि थर्मिस्टर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अपर्टस सो विथ इन दिस अपर्टस वी हेव आल दि रिक्वयर्ड इक्विपमेंट्स सो दि एम आफ दिस एक्सपेरीमेंट ईज टू ड्रा दि रेजिस्टेंस टेम्परेचर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ थर्मिस्टर एंड टू फाइंड दि टेम्परेचर कोईफिशेंट ऑफ दि रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दि थर्मिस्टर सो first you should know what is thermistor and how actually it it is going to work so thermistor is a temperature dependent resistor or we call uh, it as a resistor whose resistance is dependent on temperature the term is the combination of uh, thermal plus resistor and it is made up of metallic oxide pressed into a bead disc or cylindrical shape and which is encapsulated uh, with a uh, impermeable material like epoxy or glass to perform this experiment we require uh, the apparatus like uh, ammeter is within this kit and volt meter and the constant uh, dc power supply and the temperature uh, controller uh, and here is the thermistor so across uh, which is kept in an oven so we can measure the temperature across this temper uh, thermistor with the help of uh, thermometer we have to keep the thermometer uh, inside this hole so here is the oven where the thermistor has been kept we can measure uh, the temperature using the thermometer and here are the connecting wires so we have to connect um, using these patch cords Uh, like a meter volt meter and uh, the thermistor or the dc power supply so let us first make the connections here so here we can see the uh, positive and negative terminal of the ammeter volt meter and the thermistor so this is the um, dc power supply uh, we have to connect them using the patch cords here so first let us connect the negative terminal so first let us make the connections here here we have the positive and negative terminal of the ammeter voltmeter and thermometer thermistor and this is for the dc power supply let us connect them uh, so first we have to connect negative terminal of the ammeter to the negative terminal of thermistor and then positive terminal of the dc power supply we have to supply constant uh, voltage here so positive terminal of the voltmeter then so positive terminal of this voltmeter to the positive terminal of the ammeter so next negative terminal of this battery or the uh, power supply to the negative terminal of the voltmeter then negative terminal of this voltmeter to the uh, another terminal of the thermistor positive terminal of the thermistor so this is the connection for this thermistor characteristic apparatus so Uh, we can switch on the device here okay so initially voltage and current reads zero and here is the thermometer uh, we have to insert in this oven where the thermistor has been kept so we, which is helpful to measure the temperature across this thermistor so first here uh, you can uh, apply the constant uh, power supply or the voltage here let us take 1 uh, volt or 2 volt maximum it has 0 to 5 volt you can use in that range so let us keep it at 2 volt so voltage we are not supposed to change here voltage is going to be fixed so i am keeping it at 5 uh, sorry 2 volt okay so then uh, next what we have to do uh, here uh, the 
temperature controller knob you can see we should switch on this so to heat the oven we can apply the temperature of uh, about you can this is at room temperature right now the thermometer reads the room temperature of 30 degree celsius okay so in between 20 and 40 30 degree celsius it is room temperature so if we are going to heat up the oven uh, the temperature across thermo thermistor increases so use this knob to control the temperature So you can see the current is also going to uh, change as we are going to uh, increase the temperature. So here uh, uh, the however the voltage is going to be constant we should note down the temperature rise in the temperature corresponding current. So here we come across rising and lowering of the temperature. So we require two tabular columns here. This is the tabular column for rising of the temperature. Uh, so as the temperature increases, you should note down here the current in uh, from this display. Uh, so you can note down the current with the uh, corresponding uh, temperature. So 40 degree Celsius, how much is the uh, t current uh, you should note down like that uh, up to uh, 5 to 6 readings you can take okay 90 degree celsius so voltage we are going to keep it uh, the constant value 2 volt you can calculate once you have the value of current and voltage uh, resistance you can calculate that is uh, resistance is calculated by r is equal to v by i okay uh, so we have to note down the current and temperature here so voltage is going to be constant here we require two tabular columns for rising of the temperature as temperature rises we should note down the current value and uh, tabular column 2 is for lowering of the temperature as temperature decreases we should note down the current so voltage is going to be fixed so here if you take for rising of the temperature let us take 40 degree celsius uh, the corresponding current you should note down from this um, uh, display for the ammeter reading and voltage is fixed to volt then uh, you can calculate here the resistance with the help of this formula that is ohm's law voltage by current you can write down the resistance value then for lowering uh, from 90 degree to 40 degree celsius uh, decrease in the temperature you should note down the current reading and voltage is going to be fixed calculate the resistance so once you calculate uh, the resistance across this thermistor then you can plot the graph of uh, temperature versus resistance here is the graph for rising and lowering if you draw this is the exponential curve we will get resistance versus temperature so here you can uh, take two values of resistance on this curve any uh, across any points on this curve uh, let us take uh, that as r1 and r2 for r1 uh, the temperature t1 you should draw the perpendicular line uh, so that you can note down the temperature t1 for r1 and r2 for t2 then uh, this is for lowering you can use this formula to calculate the alpha 1 and alpha 2 for rising lowering of the temperature so here is the formula to calculate temperature coefficient of the thermometer uh, thermistor so r2 minus r1 divided by r1 into t2 minus r2 into t1 this is the unit for uh, the temperature coefficient of uh, the resistance of thermistor per degree celsius so once you put the value of these r1 r2 t1 t2 from the graph you will get the uh, temperature coefficient alpha alpha 1 and alpha 2 add them and take the average you will finally get the temperature coefficient of resistance for thermo thermistor 
that is uh, in terms of per degree celsius so this is how you can perform this experiment